Hey, this is Greg over DIY RV and Home Camper's Life. Every now and then people talk about, hey, I got flaky electrical. There's something going on with my electrical. I'm not quite sure what's going on. There's a ton of things that can be happening. Um, all the way down to faulty connections, um, bad components, uh, shorts, whatever. But uh, I just wanted to show you something that I'm finding. And maybe if you're you know comfortable working around electricity do this or you might have a professional take a look but as i'm uh out here and i'm doing a product test review um of some crimpers that i've got in and uh part of it is, is they've got these uh it's got a, a die set for feral ends and i really don't like how uh they're connected in in the control panel this is actually mine right here which i'm actually going to be fixing if you see I'm moving that around, you can actually see one of the wires moving around. It means it's not a great contact. Um, so that one I'm definitely going to do. The 6 gauge, I'm going to have to uh, get uh, some uh, ferrules for because I don't have that size available. Uh, but when I do, I'll go ahead and fix those up too. But don't want to scroll too much. I want to show you what's going on. So as I'm pulling these out and cutting the ends off and putting new ferrules on I'm I'm seeing some okay let me just show you okay so that's how it gets pinched okay that's not too bad but if you see the way the sheathing is kind of not cut square well they're shoving it in there and they're actually getting that underneath uh, the bolt or the screw as they're screwing it down and that's pinching and so you're not getting a full 100% contact with uh, the block there. Okay, that's that's one of them. Um, let me come to another one. And again, you can see that one. Again, it's not cut straight. And if I don't know if the video is going to show it, but it is getting pinched. I'm trying to save some of the good ones for last. Okay, here's another one. Again, it's getting pinched. And what that that material in there getting pinched like that that's going to be uh it's going to uh not allow the screw to fully grab the copper wires and then compress it against the lug so you're going to lose you're going to have some resistance there and resistance equals heat heat equals oxidization oxidization equals no bueno it's bad okay um i've seen as far as stuff catching on fire um in my profession uh is full-time fire so i've seen it and i'm also a mechanic so here we go now here's some of the better ones I'm, i've got i've still got a couple to go but here check this one out see where the screw is penetrated right into that sheathing look at that it's out that that's just uh, it's just Excuse me. All right, so let's take a look at this one. And again, look, it's pinched. Every single one. I've got one, two, three, four, five ends that I've cut so far. Okay, five ends that I've put these on. And I've showed you each one of those. One of them was all right. One, two, three, four, five. Five I've replaced. I've still got three to do. I'll tell you what. Not instilling confidence. I've some of my other videos. I got a link here to one where uh, you can see some of my the other. Excuse me, not my work. Some of the other work that the manufacturer did. And maybe it's not the manufacturer. Maybe it's the employee who just didn't give a rat's butt. Anyways, just wanted to show you that. And I'm going to clean some of this stuff. I'll bring it back when I'm done cleaning this up. All right. At least for what I can do today, I'll still have to get a couple more. Uh, all right, be right back. Well, I'm back. I've got, uh, as you can see, all of my wires here have ferrules on it. Um, I have a solar charge controller right over here that I've got them all on. I did not have the correct size for these mains. Um, I will get those, and I am going to do that. It's going to be a little bit of a pain because the... Feral does actually 
make it a little bit harder to, to bend. Um, they do have some not insulated where you put the ferrule on, crimp it, and use some heat shrink tube. So I might be looking at that. But the last three that I did over here on the control panel, I want to show you. That one, all right. That one was good. And that one was a good. And again, that one, probably one of the worst ones yet. So now I won't say every manufacturer is going to have this kind of work. Not every uh, person that works the line uh, is going to be uh, this kind of lazy and uh, lack of uh, pride in his job so his quality control sucks. Not everybody, but there's going to be those out there. And if you are experiencing, you know, some issues, that is one area to look at. Anyways, I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And until the next video, happy camping.